hot pot at a Tsudaoba restaurant, which means an all you can eat restaurant. Um, we are going to eat as much hot pot as we can and as we want to, and we're going to drink as much soda and beer as we want to. <laughs> So yay! Okay, first, flavors. What's your flavor hot pot? Tomato. Tomato. I have no idea. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Curry. Curry. Miso. Miso. Original. Original. And I got an original flavor too. I'm going to explain how it works. We are at the table and we each have our own private hot pot. It's on fire right now, so it's heating up. Over there, there is a million things you can choose from which you can dip in your hot pot and then eat. There's also desserts, there's sodas, there's other drinks, anything you want and you can just grab it and you only have to pay 410 NT a person to eat anything you want. Okay, so if you look at all the choices there are, there are like a lot of vegetables, tofu, different types of tofu, there are vegetarian options, there is a lot of meat, seafood, different types of fish, there's like crab, rice cake, anything you can wish for is here. Desserts, fruit, soda, chocolate fountain, already prepared dishes like pig ears, oh and clams and noodles and one of my favorite things in the world beer is here too you could tap it yourself and the first time i tried the beer can was empty so it was kind of hard and i failed but the second time it all went well this is oak tofu is that going to be healthy boy no yeah that's tofu What's tofu this? that's like uh like a type of cucumber or something melon <laughs> that's winter melon no, it's like type of cucumber and melon. <laughs> Yummy! Cooking the first food! Cabbage all the way. What did you guys get? Mine, vegetables, meat. Hey, what did you get? What's that? This is lamb. Lamb. What's in there? And the other one is beef. Okay. I got some corn, noodles, tomato. Okay. Lettuce. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, you don't like these these uh, well, chopsticks? And they're uh, a little bit slippery. They're slippery, I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy it so much. Beer in plastic cups. Cheers! Steph, what are you doing? I'm going to eat ice cream. Ice cream! What kind of ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate, yummy. Well, we're still cooking our dinner. For being my mom and me. The key to good hot pot is cabbage. Yes, mine. Are you kidding me? Are you making a mess again? What are you doing? Nothing. Not a single thing on earth. <laughs> Finn, did you make this yourself? Yeah. Are you kidding me? That looks so perfect. I know, right? <laughs> Zoom in on the ice cream. Oh, wow, that looks really good. How's the taste? Good. Good. How good on a scale from 1 to 10? 9. 9? No, actually 10. 10? Wow, that's pretty high, alright. <laughs> we had enough to eat, so just like the others, my mom and I are finally gonna start with dessert too. They are all already having their dessert. He's just minding his business. Minding his business. <laughs> For dessert, there's fruit. There's shaved ice with sauce and all the toppings like red beans, uh, peanuts, pineapple, jam, raisins, and whatever. There's a chocolate fountain. There's these cones for the chocolate fountain. And then there's all these different desserts as well as ice cream. What kind of special ice cream do you have? Durian. <laughs> durian? Why? On earth would you eat durian ice cream? Because I want to try it. Is it, it tasty? Is nice. Yes, it's it, nice. is? it is. Does it Better smell? It, yeah, it smells terrible. Does it smell terrible? Yes, yes. it does. But do you think it, it smells good. Do you think it smells bad? 
He wants to try. You, you? No one wants to try your durian ice cream. <laughs> And now we eat dessert. I got lemon ice cream and I got this little sponge cake with cream inside. These are so, so nice. They even have coffee at this restaurant. So I got myself a cappuccino and some fruits to finish dinner. Today we are going to the hot springs. I already got my, well, pants on and everything. Um, I put this outfit on because it's really cold outside and I got a bathing suit underneath so we're gonna drive to the hot springs then go to the hot springs and have fun okay so we're going to a nature hot spring in Yamishan and I just want to tell you guys what I bring when I go to a nature hot spring so today I bring my camera I bring a plastic bag for my camera like my camera bag because it's kind of rainy so I'm also bringing an umbrella just to make sure that if it's raining and I still want to shoot some content I can shoot it uh, we're bringing cookies uh, we got these cookies they're very simple and I guess they're maybe actually baby cookies but they're nice um, bottle of water very important and in here there's more plastic bag I'm bringing water shoes as well because we have to walk for a bit and we have to cross the river and then in the hot springs there's all these small rocks and it's just nice when you wear water shoes because it won't cut your feet and it's just really nice also I'm bringing a thick sweater for, for our way back in the car because it might be cold after we get out because it's very cold outside right now it's like 14, de 14 degrees so sweater for the way back thick socks for the way back as well and then um let's see what else we have so I'm already wearing like a sweater thin sweater and joggers and I'm wearing a bathing suit already so I don't have to get changed over there so after we get out we'll just wear our bathing suit still put some clothes over it and drive home because it's only a 30 minute drive I believe so we'll be fine and then of course when we get home we can shower and get all the <laughs> the what, what's it called um the sulfur smell from us because it like, kind of stinks but it's just so comfortable so we're finally gonna go off we go the drive from our house to the hot spring was about 30 to 40 minutes because the weather was very foggy and misty so it was hard to see the road <laughs> we parked our car and we're gonna get out it's a bit rainy right now but we're over here we're gonna, we still have to hike for a bit, so we're gonna get out of our car and go on a small hike. It really is raining, so I'm going to take my umbrella and hope my camera doesn't get wet. Getting there is going to be challenging, seeing that it's so wet over here. <laughs> oh my, that just lost his flip flop. I don't know why he's wearing flip flops. There's all rocks and mud. Lovely, beautiful sightings on our way there. Waterfall! This is a river we have to cross later on a smaller part. It's still raining so badly. This is where we cross. The rope is to help us cross. So it's like a small river. We gotta climb a bit over here. It's a steep, semi-steep hill. And then it's we're almost there already. The steam over there is already the hot. We hiked for I think like 20 to 30 minutes and now we arrived at the hot spring um, So we're finally gonna go into the hot spring. We've been playing this day trip for like Two months maybe and now like three weeks ago. We finally set a date and now we're finally here The last time we were here is more than a year ago. I call this hot spring paradise Okay, so there are a couple of layers of hot springs. There are super hot ones over here. Then down here, there's cooler ones because the stream goes down and the lower you go, the cooler the hot spring, basically. Doesn't always go. So if you really like hot hot springs, you can sit up here. There are some people who even install the shower. It's so funny to me. And then if you like cooler hot springs, you can go down. So 
all the way up there is where the water is coming from so this is the hotter one a little bit cooler and then cooler more down there we're just gonna chill down at the bottom here but maybe we'll go up there later we're done we sat in a hot springs for like an hour or something and now we're all like blushy and pink <laughs> and my skin feels so soft so it's already 5 10 which means it's gonna get dark pretty soon so we should really get going because we still have the 20 minute hike to go um it's not really raining anymore so my camera just got wet from the tree so over here there's another river and this river is cold water so down there is cold water there's hot water here and it's just one of my favorite places in Taipei we're all semi-dressed and ready to go I don't I'm not even wearing pants I'm just wearing my bathing suit and like a sweater and that's it so we're gonna go walk back so this is how we have to cross here it's like super dangerous watch this careful careful the rocks are sort of slippery but the rope's not so steady and the stream is like really really strong well done coldest temperature we've ever felt in Taipei 7 degrees Celsius we're back home and everyone is freezing cold I'm just shaking right now um, so most people are going to take a shower right away some have to wait for a bit and then um, I think my dad's gonna pick up McDonald's or something and we're gonna have fast food for dinner last week I made this like kind of juice something um, to make hot kung kwachi so I'm making a nice cup of hot kung kwachi right now because it's the best when you're cold okay so you take about one and a half tablespoon of the syrup you put it in a like a mug or a glass and you pour some hot water like 400 cc on top of it and then you mix it well and you have this Yummy cup of kumquati. Dinner and TV. That is it for today. I hope you had a good time watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, the day that I'm editing and uploading this today is New Year's Eve for Lunar New Year. So, Xinyan Kuala! I hope you're having a good night tonight and don't forget to subscribe because Next week, you will see a Chinese or Lunar New Year video from me. See you! Bye-bye!